and everything's virtual, we've lost ability to truly care about others and have a relationship, a real relationship, friendship with other people. And that's a great way to hedge against anti-fragility is to really have those relationships. We were all blown away listening to how well you build relationships with your customers and your clients, that you are so in tune to them and what's going on in their world that you know the names of their cats and dogs. And I'm thinking, wow, that's, that's really in depth and it's, and it's not fake, you know, Hey, what's your dog's name? Let me write it down. It's, it's a real caring relationship. And, and I think, you know, with, with society the way it is and business to where it's all become online, such as this, um, and, and everything's virtual, we've lost the ability to truly care about others and have a relationship, a real relationship, friendship with other people. Um, and that's a great way to hedge against anti-fragility is to really have those relationships. Yeah, that's a good point. It was actually something that Cheryl and I have been discussing a while ago because we both have teenager sons and we kind of share parenting strategies. And I was like, hey, you 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 might want to try the active listening thing, because if you actually can sit there, give them the opportunity to express themselves, not cut them off and really truly show that you are listening to what they're saying, that that works. I started to use that in my business and I saw a major turnaround instead of me just saying getting on a call giving them you know telling them what i wanted to tell them i started to reverse it let them do all the talking and sometimes i don't even talk about investments you know you know they've made a comment is like you know i they asked me about returns and investments and i'm talking about something completely different and it's mm -hmm. almost like they have to like just get to the point just how much are the returns you know because that's not what i'm trying to go into the attention of meeting this person to raise capital i'm really trying to establish a lifelong relationship because I believe that has more value than, you know, a return. The real ROI is the relationship that you can create and how you guys can have a mutual benefit from that. So um, that's what I try to do. And just being an active listener helps, you know, mm -hmm. and those things that point out to them when you're communicating with them, if they are talking about a dog or a cat or a fish or whatever, you know, I make note of that and I kind of review the call again and make notes of things that were important to them that I saw that stood out on that conversation and then just bring it up next time uh, when I speak to them. And I learned that a very long time ago. There was a gentleman that um, he's retired now. When I first met him, I was talking about my kids and he had asked me their names and I had saw him two years later and we were actually at an event and he remembered the names of my two kids and the ages. And that was quite wow. impressive to me. I was like, wow, two years later, I met him one time and he saw me again and he remembered that. Yeah, wow, that's powerful. And I know I remember how that made me feel. So right. trying to do that is really important. Well, yeah, you're hundred percent right. You know, in a world that is so noisy, so distracting, when someone remembers you, it speaks volumes mm -hmm. because I mean, I know how many distractions I get and how much noise I hear, but when someone, like you said, remember something that far, you know, two years down the road, I mean, like, like, man, he, that person put, showed interest in me. I'm, yeah. I'm interesting to them. Yeah. I want. I well, wanna, more of that. I, I, yeah, I want to be around <laughs> yeah. that person. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's great. I think uh, Glenn had his. Yeah, to say I something. was going to say two things. My my first thought when you said about dogs and cats, I'm thinking, man, I'm so ADHD. I don't remember what I had for breakfast. I don't have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 I, I admire you for that.